Why is addiction so hard to overcome? That is the question that is asked by addicts themselves, their loved ones, even medical professionals. Addiction is a complex brain disease. So that means that the answer to the question is also very complex and multifactorial. Today in this video, I'm gonna go over a handful of reasons why addiction is so hard to overcome, but believe me, it is just the tip of the iceberg. A person could write a book or a dissertation on why addiction is so hard to overcome. My name is Melissa Wilson and I have a passion for working with people in sobriety on their mental health and their personal development so that they thrive in recovery to increase their chances of long-term sobriety. So let's start at the beginning. Why, why addiction is so hard to overcome? Well, it's a brain disease. The brain itself is a complex organ. The diseases of the brain are almost always incredibly complex and addiction is no different. Our pleasure center, the reward system of our brain is hyperactive, broken, kind of easily triggered. So the addict continuously seeks out pleasurable situations, activities, behaviors, substances that will continuously reward that system. So when a person quits their drug of choice, their brain is still looking for that reward. And so that's why you find cross addiction to be so prevalent, maybe not so much with another drug. It can also be seen in serial relationships, gambling, money, sex, anything that is pleasurable, that triggers that reward system. It is very common to find people in recovery who turn to relationships in early recovery just to find something that makes them feel good. We need that part of our brain for survival. It's what makes us look for food. It, it's what makes us reproduce and procreate, doing the things we need to do to survive. So it's, it's something that we need uh, for, for basic human evolution. And unfortunately in an addict, it's just on the fritz. And another reason why addiction is so hard to overcome is because it rarely occurs on its own. Addiction doesn't occur in a vacuum. At least half the people who have struggles with addiction also have struggles with other mental health issues, such as anxiety, depression, bipolar disorder, borderline personality, or something more severe, maybe a schizophrenia. So they're not just trying to beat addiction, they also have this other mental health disorder that they have to come at it at the same time. And what's worse yet, as they feed off of each other, the more depressed someone gets, for example, we'll use depression, the more depressed someone gets, the more they seek out drugs and alcohol. The more drugs and alcohol they seek out, the more depressed they get, and it's, and it's, a, it's a cycle. So when a person goes to attempt sobriety, which is a journey in and of itself, not only are they dealing with learning new ways to cope with um, cravings and sobriety, they're also learning how to deal with their mental health in a healthy, constructive, positive way. So it's like fighting two wars at once, really. So let's talk about the physical reason, some physical reasons why addiction is so hard to overcome. If a person drinks enough or uses drugs enough to become physically dependent, the withdrawal symptoms alone keeps a person stuck in the cycle. I, I'm speaking from personal experience with this one. I, uh, when I was trying to sober up, I, I truly had the desire, I don't wanna drink anymore. But when the booze started to wear off and the horrendous withdrawal symptoms kicked in, all I wanted to do was drink some more to make it go away. And I've heard a, um, a lot of addicts who talk about maintaining, using just enough of of their drug of choice, like heroin or whatever, to keep the withdrawal symptoms away. When an addict has gotten to the point of physical dependence, it's so easy to get stuck in that maintenance to keep the withdrawal symptoms away that it really makes it next to, it feels like next to impossible to fully recover and stop using your drug of choice altogether because of the physical symptoms. Another reason why addiction is so hard to overcome is just plain old denial. Denial, cognitive dissonance, that's a really hard one to overcome. It's really hard for a person to objectively look at their life and say, yes, this is an issue. A lot of it has to do with stigma and the baggage that comes with being labeled as an alcoholic or being lab labeled as an addict. 
the fear of never using it again or having to go to meetings forever or just wh whatever the situation is. Denial is very common and overcoming it is a process that takes quite some time. I think denial is probably the most maddening thing for the loved ones of addicts. The loved one can see the chaos and destruction that's going on and the addict themselves are, are pretty much oblivious to it. They don't want to face it. They're putting up blinders. Um, and it's a, it's a terrible place to be in for both the family, the loved ones, and the addict themselves. And some people don't ever come out of denial. Some people will live in addiction until the day they die or even have their addiction kill them because they can't see their substance use for what it is, as is addiction and not just normal drinking or recreational use. Another reason why addiction is hard to overcome is because the addict often feels like they're giving up their best friend. And what that means is they rely on drinking or substances as a coping mechanism for life and emotions and other mental health issues that I discussed earlier. They feel like they're giving up their security blanket. If they don't have this, then how are they gonna deal with that, right? Even though they maybe they're not in denial, maybe they do know that this is a problem, but it's the devil they know. They don't know any other way. And it's easier to stay, stay in your comfort zone, no matter how toxic it is, than to learn new behaviors, even though it can give you a better life and is healthier in the long run. And people in early recovery, it's common for them to actually mourn the loss of drinking and using because they, it literally feels like you're giving up your best friend, the, the thing that you ran to to give you comfort. Beautiful thing though is the life on the other side is beyond well worth it. And lastly, and most importantly, in my opinion, why addiction is so hard to overcome is because the fear of stigma. I touched on this um, when I was talking about the denial. Stigma and addiction um, are huge, and it is a huge barrier for people overcoming addiction. Being labeled an addict or an alcoholic is really, really hard for people um, who are working with denial. A lot of society at large still has this view of addiction as a weakness, as people just not being able to say no, and that they're just gutter trash who are hurting themselves, so let's just brush them away. And so when somebody is struggling with addiction, they don't want to be associated with that perception. And so it really deters them from seeking help. and more importantly, it deters, deters them from accepting the fact that this is an issue that they need to face and overcome. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this is just the beginning. This is just the tip of the iceberg of why addiction is hard to overcome. There's tons of reason, reasons why. I went over how it's a disease of the brain. Um, it rarely occurs on its own. It almost always occurs with some other mental health disorder. The physical withdrawal symptoms keeps a person stuck in the cycle of using or drinking. Denial, they feel like they're giving up their best friend, their comfort zone, their security blanket, and the fear of stigma. So I wanna know in the comments, um, there are many other reasons. Let's, let's talk about them. Give me a comment. Some other reasons that you know of why addiction is so hard to overcome. And if any of these you found yourself in, like I talked about the withdrawal symptoms, really kept me stuck even when I wanted to quit. That was something that, that really stuck out to me because it affected me. So I wanna know which one of these stuck out to you that resonated with you, that really reminded you of where you were or if if it was something different, talk, let's talk about that. If you found value in this video, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Tell me what your biggest takeaway from the video was. Like I said before, I am passionate about helping people in recovery work on their mental health and their personal development. If you would like to explore that further, come join my Facebook group, Serenity Seekers. Lots of discussion of all things recovery, sobriety, and mental health related. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.